Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Dr. Warren with the Best of the East and West Life Coach. Today we're going to talk about the new rich and creating ways that they have met their needs and experience optimal lifestyles. So why are so many people afraid to create what they need? That's a good question. Why are they? Hard to answer, but most of the time it's because they have no real structure. No more procrastinating, maybe more income, more time off, and create ways to meet your needs and enjoy life, what we're going to talk about. It's not all about external systems and steps. Managing the internal game to create new ways to get your needs met is just as important. Cheryl Sanders, Facebook COO, has an inspiring idea that I will share with you a little bit later. And remember, try the exercise at the end to create new ways to have your needs met. See how you rate. I began looking at creating needs before I wrote my first two books on leadership. Then my last book I focused on helping learners meet their needs in an optimal engagement in the classroom. Now I'm combining success with leadership and engagement to add value to entrepreneurs who want to build optimal lifestyles. There are two internal friends you need to shake hands and get along with every day to create ways to get your needs met. I call them You Inc. and You Instant Gratification Monkey. You Inc. is the thinker and planner. When you're in the You Inc. role, it takes up a lot of energy and bandwidth, so you can't stay in that role for very long. The Gratification Monkey is easily distracted, and it can get you what you need done, but you must give him very specific tasks, deadlines, and spicy rewards. Together, they're a powerful duo like Batman and Robin, Han Solo and Chewbacca. Holmes and Watson. You want to create ways to save your needs for both you, Inc., and the Gratification Monkey. The new rich create ways to have their needs met to experience optimal lifestyles. Asking for what you need is entrepreneurial success skill number five. You get the point? So how do you do it? Simple. Simple, but easy to forget. A gratification Monkey doesn't think well, so you must eliminate the thinking work needed to accomplish what you want. Give yourself a block of time. It's best to start with about an hour. Then let your you ink plan your strategy for the day. And it doesn't have to be more than five, 10 minutes at this process. That's just getting things ready to hand over to the instant gratification monkey. My gratification monkey likes daily checklists like log in, explore, pick a design, look for inspiration, think about others' needs, write it down, link to automation tools and outsource, rinse and repeat tomorrow. Remember, you have to limit the time for both sides of this process. I like to use e.ggtimer.com and one hour. Then give yourself a reward. This is so gratifying because it lets you step out of you ink role and enter your gratification monkey role. Your job isn't to think anymore, it's simply to do it, to execute. Little brain work required at this point of only doing tasks. The nice thing is, if you give it a job to do with a specific period of time, like if you've only got an hour a day to do this, then you give it a reward when it's done, something meaningful, and that will excite you, even if it's a small thing. You'll be much more likely to do it. The results can be massive, and optimal lifestyle and income, better health, better anything you want, but you have to give it a try to see. I like the way Sheryl Sandberg says it, Fortune does favor the bold, and you'll never know what you're capable of if you don't try. The main thing is to try this process and find the best combination for you to create ways to have your needs met. To review, set aside a block of time. Focus on both your ink side and focus on your gratification monkey side, and then give yourself both sides a reward. Here's to dynamic duos. All the best, Dr. Warren. For more on learning to ask for what you need, exercises, tune in next time, or don't miss entrepreneurial success skills at my Facebook page, Warren Linger Certified Innovation. You can subscribe on YouTube or Warren Linger, or follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Qora, or just read my blog. Now it's time for the value challenge if you choose to accept it. Exercise number seven, picking up from last time, where you just asked, now we're going to work on creating ways to meet your needs. So what you want to do is follow the following steps. Answer these questions. T today I will create a block of time to get my needs met at 
and block one hour out. A focus on my you side will be, a focus on my gratification monkey side will be, a reward to myself for, do this every day for a week and then at least two times a week after that and you'll create ways to get in the habit of meeting your needs. As before, you're probably looking at this exercise saying, this feels awkward, but you will get used to it, your family, your life, and your business will all depend on it. To get a debrief for this exercise and a full set of entrepreneurial success skills exercises, please email drwarren at cict.co. Remember, fortune does favor the bold, and you'll never know what you're capable of until you try. Note, if you don't learn to create new ways to continue to get your needs met, you may soon join the 80% of small businesses that fail within the first five years. P.S. In the next exercise, you will take the step from creating ways to finding needs that you've forgotten. For more on building your entrepreneurial success skills, email Dr. Warren. Thanks a lot for coming, everyone.